he doesn't have to do anything that he's not used to. You know, he doesn't have to go to the air. He's doing waves like that, and you know that's. That's all you have to do to get these big scores. Welcome back to the Rip Curl WSL Finals, live from Lower Trestles here in San Clemente, California. The energy levels, the excitement, you can feel it rising with each and every match. And straight off the buzzer, this beach was going off because California's Connor Coffin has entered the chat in a big way. This is escalating quickly. Chris Cote here with Rosie Hodge, joined by yet another world champion, Mick Fanning. Mick, you came in this booth screaming. Your how, guy, Connor Coffin's going off. How good was that wave? He just absolutely murdered this thing. Um, pure rail surfing. It was uh, so cool to watch. This turn, then into this next turn. This turn's the money turn for the wave. Look at that. Oh, that's what we want to see on finals day, right? Oh, yeah. And the finish. And, I mean, coming in, Connor Coffin, he's coming in as an underdog. He's already had to surf one match today. He's feeling that energy. Mick, right now he's got his family on the beach. Um, what's it like, your feet on in the sand, finals day, and you putting on a performance like this? Well, yeah, look, he's come on. He knew it was going to be a big day. Rosie, you've, you've uh, been on this <laughs> peak so many times. You've seen waves like this coming through. This is a, an interesting morning for lower trestles as Connor is just carving this wave up as we knew he was going to do still yet to see a wave from toledo connor goes down at the end so in looking out here at lowers today it, it is it is uh obviously it's pumping there's great waves out there huge scores on offer but a different look than we're kind of used to to lower you do have to be adjusting on the fly and maybe having a look at your equipment maybe going to some length as connor takes this medium-sized wave um, you know, he's already locked in that 8.5, and here he's trying to add to that number and really apply the pressure to Felipe. He sweeps through on that rail line, looking for something big on the inside to really put this one to bed, and he goes down on that tricky inside section. Kaipo Guerrero standing by in the WSL fan shot but he's gonna have to wait because we've got a wave about to be ripped this is your opening ride for felipe toledo solid start there oh another big carve huge finish for toledo i take everything i said back nobody's worried about felipe toledo <laughs> anymore that was a massive start that sharp eye dark arts quad coming through in a clutch way to way to start he started with a great wave but now to see him open up like this mick yeah, look, I'm, I'm sure there was nerves starting to build up in Philippe, so to come and put a strong wave, that turn was incredible. Um, I think it's going to go under Connor's first wave, but it's it's one that will just take away the nerves, and he'll be fired up. You know, with 18 minutes to go, you want to start building a bit of a rhythm. You don't want to be at a place where you need two waves come 10 minutes to go because the pressure just gets too much. You always want to be able to have a shot when it comes down to the last five minutes. And when I, th when I think about Felipe, I think he's that surfer that wants to get, you know, uh, his surf on the back foot. He wants to get his competitor on the back foot. And now Felipe, to answer back, to stick to this rail game, to look so strong, he'll take a deep breath, he'll get some confidence going. You know, to answer back, Connor Coffin. Carb to set things up. This wave lurching down the line, growing as it gets to this inside. Here's where the racetrack can start, but Connor whips into a big closeout turn, goes down, so that will not be a wave of consequence in the scoreline of Connor Coffin. About riding the quad, it's the same board that he was riding at the surf ranch, as we were watching that first time, it was so nice. Um, and he... Oh, you almost wish he just finished this. Yeah, that would have been a point just to just go and finish yeah. that. He, he tried to turn something into a... I mean, the pundits have been speaking for months about what to expect here at Lower Trestles at the Rip Curl WSL Finals. And this script is still wide open as now we get to see Connor Coffin's lethal backhand in action. Great snap right in the pocket there. Gets out in the open face, looking down the line to see what is available. And he'll hammer that end section. So a completed ride, four turns down the line for Connor Coffin, looking to throw away a 4.5. Always a pleasure to see Connor on his backhand. He's so sharp. I'd say underrated for how good he is going left. That was a really smart move, I feel, on Connor's behalf. You know, he only had a 4.5 there. I feel like that 
would probably be around the mid five, sort of put a little bit more pressure but on Philippe, but also too that that left is so easy to get out the back. Um, so he's going to get out with them enough time, but it still makes Philippe think a little bit more, like where did he go, what did he get, and still waiting on that score. It's got to have, as we see him here, he's... Live action, Felipe Toledo now answering back, only needing a 4-6-1, which for Felipe Toledo, I mean, he'll get that number in his sleep, but the uh, X factor here, this wave looking real frothy, kind of strange, but that's no problem for Felipe Toledo. And now the crowd goes wild. The first air of the Rip Curl WSL Finals, and people are loving it, especially Felipe's father right there. That was the biggest cheer we've heard of the morning, Rosie. I think that's the advantage that the Felipe has, because when you look at the way that he was on, it's a frothy kind of burger, and the way that he's able to turn something into nothing is definitely a strength for Felipe. Yeah, he's looking to fade that oh, bounce. Wow, nice. that was searing. Yeah, just here got a little bit stuck <laughs> so hard uh, going through that foam but um, to, to draw that out to power through that foam is extremely tough but then to finish off with this air that's going to be a solid score and you know that is uh that was kind of an understated finish for felipe but i tell you that section right there was there was no ramp that was, the thing was frothy super wild and weird there are only a handful of people in the world that can make something so good out of something kind of strange at the end. Yeah, I think the two bookmarks for me there was the way that he faded for that bottom turn to really get the release on that first turn, and then that right there, the finish. I think those two moments are what is going to stand out in the judges' mind when they put a number to this. Well, the good thing for Connor Cuffin is he got a 5.83 on his previous wave. That made the ask just a little bit more for Felipe Toledo. Felipe fans came in numbers down here to lower trestles, and they were going absolutely wild. 11 seconds on the clock. Connor Coffin's out the back with priority. Still has a chance. Unfortunately, not a lot of action on the horizon. Well, that was a quick run for Connor Coffin. Some stellar surfing early on, but this is a ruthless format. Felipe Toledo gets the win over Connor Coffin. But the big news for Connor Coffin, fourth place in the world. That is huge. It's not a bad result whatsoever. Well, here's your bracket. Just been busted wide open yet again by Felipe Toledo, who will match up next with Italo.